Hey guys, what's up? Um, so today's video is going to be about stuff that I'm addicted to. Because I'm addicted to a lot of stuff. Well, I've recently become like addicted to a few things and re-addicted to some things that I've been addicted to in the past and am now addicted to again because I don't know, I love some of these things. I don't care how stupid they are. So, but that's what this video is going to be about. Stuff I'm addicted to. And everyone has them. And I know my lighting kind of sucks. Goodness gracious. Anyway, stuff I'm addicted to. Regrettably, quite a few of these things are food. More than I'd like to admit are food. I don't know how I'm not fat yet. So the first thing is, um, Evan, you'll like this one. Sunflower seeds. I don't know why I love these things, but they're freaking delicious and they're salt. They're like pure salt and they're delicious. And I go through them so fast. I swear I bought this bag like, yes, two days ago, three days ago, maybe. And I'm like that far. And you might, you probably like, you know what? That's like not far at all for like three days. If you were addicted to them, they'd be gone. You've been through like three bags. But okay, sunflower seeds, you don't understand, are freaking hard to get through. Cause you know how many, I, no matter how many you shove in your mouth, you still have to take the time to like suck on them and get all the salt off. And then you have to like tediously crunch the shell and get the little seed part out and swallow it. And you have to do that with every single one. So it just, it takes time to eat them all. But they're delicious. At least I don't feel fat while I'm getting them. I feel like I'm taking away too much salt, but I don't feel fat because they're like that big. So I don't feel like I'm eating that much. But I sit there for like hours and eat these things. And it's just been like the past month that I've decided that I love these things. I've gone through like too many bags of those in the last month. Okay, so the second thing is also food. This one's a little worse. But they're delicious. And these are chocolate covered donuts. You could tell I have I, mean, I have like four left in this whole bag. And we buy like my house. There's like two of these bags, I don't know, a week maybe. But I finish them in like a day. Because they're so freaking delicious. You cannot have just one of these. And that's just been like, yeah, like about the past month too that I've become addicted to these. Like every single time I walk in my kitchen, they're like on the counter and I have to eat at least one. And then I have to come back for more because they're so delicious. I'm addicted to them and I need to work on that because I want to get fat because uh, it's the serving size is like six. No, I lied. The serving size is three, three donuts. And that's 230 calories, it's three donuts. And I eat like a bag. And there's six servings in the bag. Yeah. And final food is Pop-Tarts, but it's a specific type of Pop-Tarts. It's the blueberry Pop-Tarts. Dun, dun, dun. And I know the fruit, but you know what? The fruits are delicious and originals, man, you know? Yum. I've only got one left in this box. Because I went on like a brown sugar cinnamon tangent for a while because those are delicious. I ate them for like two years. They were like the only Pop-Tarts I ate. But, you know, I went back to the classics because they were my favorite when I was little. And, God, they're delicious. And now I can't stop eating them. You notice like all my food's junk food that I'm addicted to? Like I can't be addicted to like whole wheat toast or something. No. Pop-Tarts. Chocolate covered donuts, sunflower seeds. It's my life. Okay, so that's all the food. Um, there's a couple other series that I've recently become addicted to. This one's more recent, more within like past week rather than past month. And I, these are some of the ones I was addicted to before that I've become re addicted to. Starting first and foremost with one of the biggest franchises in the entire history of, you know movie series is, and, you know, movie series. And that is, um, <clears throat> none other than Star Wars. And I love Star Wars. 
and I'm gonna blame this all on two of my two one mostly one of my very best friends Miss Lacey and uh, she was like I've never seen Star Wars and I was like oh my god you have to see Star Wars even though I hadn't watched it in like two years but I loved it still so I'm like okay we're gonna watch Star Wars so I had a whole bunch of girls over and that had never seen Star Wars and we all sat down and watched the original trilogy on VHS nonetheless <laughs> um, and I wanted to watch more and so I had to get on like Netflix and watch all of them you know how long it takes to watch all the Star Wars movies and now like my brain is just like Star Wars Star Wars Star Wars well that and the other series that I've recently watched all of which is extremely pathetic because I looked up how long it takes to watch the second one the second series I'm about to show you and it takes 19.6 hours to get through all of these movies these are not on VHS. And that's Harry Potter. Now, again, I was addicted to this a long time ago. Then it, I kind of left it for a while. I read all the books. I've seen, I've already seen all the movies. I saw this, the um, finale. Was it the finale or was it part one of the seventh one? I don't remember. One of them I saw like literally seven times in the movie theater. Literally seven times I went and saw this in the theater. I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. But I had like laid off of it for a while since they all came out. Series was over, you know, I was kind of done. This stupid ABC family goes on and has a Harry Potter marathon. And of course, I'm home for that weekend. I don't remember I had something to do. So the whole weekend, I stayed at home and worked on whatever I was doing. It watched hours upon hours of Harry Potter. So I had to sit down and watch all eight movies because that is how I spend my life as an almost graduate of high school kind of pathetic depending on your outlook on life I had fun I'm obsessed with Harry Potter so those are the movie series is okay the next one which a lot of you have seen if you know me is that I'm kind of addicted to taking pictures and not even like the cool pictures like not Instagram or like snapchat or anything like that just like with my old digital camera taking pictures of stuff and not even doing anything with the pictures like sometimes I put them on Facebook sometimes I don't mostly they just go on my computer and I like look through them when I'm bored I don't scrapbook I don't I don't do anything with these pictures, but I like taking them and I take them all the time for no reason. I'm addicted to it. Speaking of pictures, um, a lot of you guys, again, if you know me, you know about these too. I've kind of, I call it a tradition, but I think it's more of an addiction, is that every time I go to a mall or see like a photo booth, I have to do it. <laughs> like, I have to take the photo booth pictures. <laughs> I don't know why. It just became a thing with us, my friends and I, you guys, whatever, to take photo booth pictures. So now I have like a jillion of them. My bulletin board's like covered. And I have the ones from like prom with cool props and like, it's me and Caitlin who posted yesterday her nice little dorm hall. And there's Evan, and I just have so many of them. Why do I have so many of these photos? I don't need them. They just cost me money. I mean, they're cute, but they fade after, like, forever. They, they fade really bad. I mean, they're not good pictures. But I have an addition to taking them. I don't like buying them. Whatever, this video is getting long. Last one. Last thing I'm addicted to. And this one's... I don't know whose fault this is. This is probably from my mom. Those burning candles. Okay, this one's really black. Because, <laughs> like, you see the wick in it is, like, way off to the side. So it's burning the glass part. But burning candles in my room, like, I burn them all day. Just because it makes my room smell good. But I never used to. I didn't until this year. And now I'm going through candles like freaking crazy. Yeah. I'm addicted to too many things. And... This video is getting really long. So I'm just gonna end it with that. If you guys have anything you're addicted to, make a follow-up video. Let me know I'm not alone in all of this such and such. So I will talk to you guys later.